Bay Area's largest police department is doing some major damage control. Yeah, KPI X-Files Kit Doe on yet another allegation of misconduct against an officer. San Jose police now in full damage control mode after a rough couple of weeks being rocked by scandal after scandal. This latest one involves an officer who has now been arrested and charged with masturbating in front of two adult women while on duty in uniform. We have never seen this before. San Jose police shooting their own video and providing it to the media, showing Chief Anthony Mata escorting the officer out of the Internal Affairs Office. They blurred his face. However, the DA released this mugshot and identified the officer as 32-year-old Matthew Dominguez, a four-year veteran. He's charged with misdemeanor indecent exposure. Chief Mata released a statement. Last week, I said that when an officer violated the public's trust or engages in criminal conduct, I would personally walk that officer out the door. Today, I did it. According to the criminal complaint, Dominguez was at a home responding to a domestic disturbance, questioning a mother and her daughter when he allegedly began touching himself. The chief alluded to that sexual case at a press conference last week, a press conference that was meant to talk about another officer misconduct involving drug use. I will not tolerate inappropriate behavior or criminal conduct. Dominguez has been placed on standard paid administrative leave. The president of the San Jose Police Officers Association released a statement. I am absolutely disgusted by this repugnant allegation that damages the reputation of our profession and department where 99% of San Jose police officers serve honorably every single day. If this is true, the individual must be held accountable and he should never be allowed to be a police officer ever again. This is the fifth major scandal this year. In late April, a San Jose police officer showed up to the kidnapping scene of baby Brandon, drunk, apparently with a blood alcohol level nearly twice the legal limit. On May 1st, the coroner revealed San Jose police officer Dijon Packer died of a fentanyl overdose. On May 6th, an off-duty officer was arrested for DUI and crashing into another car in Hayward. And today, we learned an SJPD officer is on leave over allegations of trading a meth pipe for information. Obviously, this is just the latest in what has become a drumbeat of serious transgressions by young officers in the San Jose Police Department. Mayor Sam Licardo said they will begin negotiating with the union over increased drug and alcohol screening, and that Chief Mata will be announcing some changes in the coming days. These tend to be very young officers, uh, which tells me there may be something very seriously wrong with whatever we're doing around screening uh, and backgrounding, and we need to we need we need to figure that out.